If you haven't read the news yet, the Wall Street Journal had a blockbuster story about NBC making a bid to secure the rights to NBA games. The deal is worth about $2.5 billion a year, and it would effectively take away the rights of Warner Brothers Discovery, which currently shows games on TNT. The journal reported that the package includes regular season and playoff games that would appear on local NBC networks and the streaming service Peacock. That's great news for cord cutters like you and me, because it would essentially make those games free to anyone with a TV antenna. According to Nielsen, about 23 million U.S. households are currently using a TV antenna to access local broadcast stations. While streaming gets a lot of attention when it comes to watching sports, the potential NBC-NBA partnership isn't the only deal that's bringing professional and college sports back to local broadcast TV. In August 2022, the Big Ten Conference signed a billion-dollar deal with CBS, NBC, and Fox, and that brought a ton of college football and college basketball games back to local broadcast stations. In the past year, Script Sports and other local broadcasters have been pivotal in driving viewers back to local over-the-air stations by offering in-market games of professional sports teams. The Phoenix Suns of the NBA, the Arizona Coyotes of the NHL, are now showing in-market games on local broadcast stations. By abandoning regional sports networks in favor of local broadcast stations, these teams and others are making their games available to a wider audience. Now, it's important to keep in mind that even if the NBC deal goes through, it wouldn't make all NBA games free. Regional sports networks still hold the rights to the majority of in-market games. But much like with cable overall, Cord cutting has dealt a serious blow to the business model of regional sports networks. Diamond Sports Group, the largest owner of regional sports networks, is currently in Chapter 11 bankruptcy proceedings. It currently has the rights to 15 NBA teams that appear on regional Valley sports networks. Amazon is taking a minority ownership stake in Diamond Sports Group with plans to reformulate how these games are being distributed to fans. If approved by the bankruptcy court, Amazon would start offering local NBA games to Amazon Prime subscribers through some sort of add-on package. Nothing has been finalized with that proposal, so we'll just have to see what happens for next season. If you like stories like this, or if you're just figuring out how to use a TV antenna, or you want to figure out where to stream your favorite sports network, head over to cordcuttingreport.com. You can also click on the link below and start following us on Google News. And uh, be sure to comment below and tell me what you think of this possible NBA-NBC partnership. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.